Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I'm going to look at a fragrance from Olfactive Studio called Auto Portrait. And this is what the picture for this fragrance looks like. There's a guy walking on the ground there in a very interesting looking skyline there. Um, and this is the 1.2 ml sample that I got. I believe this one came when I purchased my bottle of Still Life. They threw in a couple of samples of other fragrances and I haven't tried this one yet so I was excited to get a free sample of that. This one came out in 2011. Classified Oriental Woody and Unisex. Top notes are uh, top notes are Bergamot and Alimi. Heart notes are Benzoin and Incense. And in the base, Oak Moss, Cedar and Vetiver. So with this one, you're getting a very pleasant wood smell. Um, if you like woods, this one's definitely worth checking out. There's definitely a resin here, a tree resin, probably from the Alimi. That's one of the more prominent notes here. So if you're a fan of Alimi, check this one out. To get kind of like the cedar wood there, or uh, I guess that's the main wood here, cedar wood. Um, as far as incense goes, that one's very understated. You kind of sense a little bit of incense there, but it's certainly not a heavy incense. So if you like your incense understated and subtle, almost subliminal in nature, this is also a good one to check out. Um, a lot of people say it's boring, kind of plain. Um, it's also pretty expensive for what you're getting. Very soft, sort of close to the skin scent. Although one lady that was standing far off said she could smell it. So um, maybe it's a little bit underrated in that regard. Uh, that was really the only compliment I got of, of two days wearing this one was from one lady that was standing far off. So for me, it is a really nice wood fragrance worth checking out. Um, if you'd like something soft, maybe like a work scent where you're not really drawing a lot of attention to yourself. Uh, if you'd like something a little stronger and cheaper, maybe Wonderwood would be a better option. That one did make my top 100 list. This one could creep in there as well. Uh, I think it's uh, a bit underrated. I don't think anybody has a bottle of this one. I've heard a couple of reviewers talk about it as part of a sample impression, but I, don't have, I haven't really seen anybody flash a bottle of this one so uh, um, let me get into some scores with this one the smell I'm gonna give it 8 out of 10 a really nice woody smell if you like resins sweetness touch of incense with your woods check this one out now projection longevity 6 out of 10 really not a powerhouse here more for the personal um, enjoyment or maybe uh, like a romantic encounter where you're very close to somebody. Um, versatility, I'm going to say 7.5 out of 10. For something this woody, um, I think you could probably wear it most of the year. Maybe not so much in the winter because it, I'm not sure if it's strong enough to really project in the cold air. But uh, it's uh, light enough, I think, that even in warmer weather, it could be something to wear if you like woody scents. Uniqueness, 5 out of 10. A lot of people compare this to cheaper blends. Um, anything that's very woody and sweet um, is pretty similar to this one. But I think this one is very well blended. Maybe it's blended so well it uh, gets blown off as being generic. But really, I think it's more notable than people give it credit for. Price point. You know, the Effective Studio line is a bit inflated price-wise for some reason. 50 ml is 145. 100 ml is 195. So definitely, if, if this fragrance line ever goes discounted, you can find a cheap bottle somewhere on eBay or something. This is certainly one to keep an eye out for. Not really sure at that price point if it's going to draw a lot of uh, attention, but uh, certainly as far as smell goes, it's a great fragrance. So 7.5 out of 10 overall for this one. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.